Hi guys, um, this is just a sample tutorial on uh, how to test a new flow with uh, Postman. Um, first of all, uh, prerequisite for this is that um, the users need to have uh, any point studio installed and also uh, Postman installed. Postman is actually a Chrome application. Once you install it and then if you op launch your Google Chrome, you will be able to see Postman here. The icon is actually encircled in red. So now straight to the demo. Here I have a uh, AnyPoint Studio open. This is how your new flow will look like at the end of the tutorial. So I'm going to start with a new uh, project. Choose a new project. Just give it a new project name like uh, Postman Testing. Click next and next. Now wait for your project to open. Now you have a Postman project. Rename this XML. Click refactor, rename. Name it to a main XML. Once you have it as a main XML, what you do is um, let's close this out so it's not so complicated. Double click the main XML to launch. Go and look for the HTTP um, connector at your new palette. Drag it to the XML. Now to set up the connector, just type main here um, then for connectors just click add and accept the defaults just click OK click save once you have this now uh, just put in a logger in the logger right what you need to do is um, what this uh, logger component does is it, it logs uh, information about um, about the payload. The reason I've added it is to log in information about the payload. So what you do is um, you put in a new ex expression language. Here you put a um, payload. If you just put payload, it's gonna print. It's gonna log uh, the object ID. You don't want that. You want to know the content of the payload. So let me just get the so the content of the payload is that you can message payload as string. That's the what you type in message payload as string so that it will print out the actual message so now when once we start with this you have the first cut so save it and right click run So wait for it to finish running. It will show you once it's successfully deployed, then you can start up the Postman from your Chrome browser to test it. So this indicates a successful deployment. And launch your Postman. This is the uh, sample. This is the URL that you want to put in. Remember that we put in a slash main. So this is the URL, and then uh, change the operation to post. So this is one of the tabs. Go to the body tab. Now you see this is the sample uh, JSON script that you're going to submit, which will be logged. And uh, to get a bigger view, the JSON script is 
this is what the JSON script look like. You can pause the video just so that you can uh, copy the script, type it into the Postman body. Once you have it here, just click on the send button. So it's sent. If you look at here, you see um, the login component actually logs the payload, which is uh, what you pass in to the flow. So that's done. That's step one. Two is uh, you look for a transform shape. Transform message shape. This is the transform message shape. Drag it after the logger. Double click on the transform shape. So here, what you're going to do is um, you want to define the metadata. Just put in add a sample JSON. And create type. Okay, before you could uh, have a sample, you want to create it from a sample. JSON, you want to create it from sample, but to create it from sample, you need uh, um, just put um, create one here. Let's let's create a sample first. Go to source main test. Main test. Right click, create a new file, call it sample JSON JSON file. Copy and paste what you have uh, typed in into the sample JSON file, save it. Now, when you define the metadata, choose the sample JSON that you have specified just now select JSON select example browse to the location where you have the sample yep now it's displayed for you so you have it here and then for double click on the preview mode so you want it to become an XML and then just remove these curly braces, put in a word payload. There you see your you see you get a preview of what your uh, output will be like. So save that. If you want, you could add another logger. Um, stop the project. Copy this uh, logger. Control C, Control V, put it here. Let's delete this. Rename this as um, because you Control C and Control V, the content of this logger will be the same, which is to to log the payload. Okay. Now you have this. Save it. And then click on the Run. Wait for deployment to finish. Once you see the um, new uh, new flow has been deployed, you can proceed to test it again. Now, if you go back here, so the previous um, uh, return, the previous result that is returned is uh, is exactly what we have keyed in. So now, if you send it to the same uh, flow, it's going to return you an XML file. That's that's how it. How easy it is to create a flow in Newsoft and to test it with Postman. You see the status, the HTTP status, and also the the return payload. And then, so this is the finished new flow. This is how it will look like with two logger and a transform message here, which transform the input JSON into an output XML. And and uh, Postman is actually a tool um, that is a Google Chrome application that you can that helps users to test HTTP endpoints. You can use it to post any data, be it JSON or XML, to any end, 